This is Witchbase News for Friday the 19th of July 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week there's a project to map out fleet carrier tritium superhighways in the galaxy. Commander Nick Webb's latest production will make you care for your limpets like never before and we take a look back at FDEVs shifting the goalposts for last weeks community goal. If you enjoy our videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to make sure you see all our content and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. Pretty much since their inception whether by design or not fleet carriers have been used as exploration staging posts and harbours in deep space where none previously existed. Using a fleet carrier out in the deep black has many advantages not least of which they offer repair facilities and simple respite. However fleet carriers that plan on moving in deep space for extended periods require thousands of tons of the isotope wonder fuel tritium in order to power their massive jump drives. Conventional wisdom will have it that to fuel a carrier in the deep black for months or even years on end carrier captains need to bring all of their tritium requirements along with them when they first leave port. As whilst tritium can be mined from planetary rings the quantities needed and the rarity of the fuel make that activity an impractical proposition. Enter then Commander Ruff Leaf who together with a group of commanders from the Strategic Tritium Logistics Centre have been experimenting with ship builds, mining techniques and specific planetary rings in order to make tritium mining as a fuel source viable. In the right conditions their testing has produced upwards of 300 to 400 tons of tritium an hour and Commander Leaf's personal record is now at 520 tons per hour. Commander Leaf will be leading a carrier based expedition from the bubble leaving on the 1st of August that will be visiting DSSA and Star Initiative waypoints as part of the journey. En route the expedition will map, expand on and verify deep space premium tritium hotspots and add that knowledge to a map layer on ED Astrometrics that displays the known tritium highways in the galaxy. Anyone is welcome to join the expedition which you can do via the link to the Fleet Carrier Owners Club Go West Exploration and Tritium Highway Expansion which I've linked to in the description below. The elite community has always been blessed to count talented individuals amongst its ranks and in the 10 plus years the game has been in existence there has been a near constant stream of output from those individuals be it music, art, drawings, cartoons or videos in one form or another all inspired by FDEV's virtual galaxy. Every now and then a truly exceptional piece of work passes in front of our eyes however and today is one of those times. Commander Nick Webb 85 has created an incredible short animation featuring the life cycle of Elite's often maligned and ignored employee of the month the humble collector limpet. The piece features music and additional audio from Elite Community Luminary Commander Tokoso as well as modelling assistance from Commander Cray Cray and DMC Rules and fuses Elite Dangerous in-game footage with bespoke 3D modelling assets and animation. Clearly taking some inspiration from movies like Wally -E and Moon, Nick Webb's The Little Limpet has to be experienced to be believed. As always you'll find a link in the description below, don't miss it. We reported last week that the latest community goal to deliver aid and supplies to the disaster struck third planet in the rear system and home of president in waiting Felicia Winters was rewarding a size 6 64 slot corrosion resistant cargo rack. The original plan was that the cargo rack which cannot currently be obtained by any other means was only due to be available to the top 50% of participants for the singular hauling community goal. All other participants in the goal regardless of their level of participation would receive a vibrant orange paint job for the Scarab SRV. That was at least the plan anyway. 
So popular was the community goal however, largely driven by the prospect of such a large corrosion resistant cargo rack that it rapidly became apparent the reward tier structure was a little too punitive to the many participants looking to get their hands on the cargo rack. To that end on Monday Frontier changed the reward tiers adding a second cargo rack to the top 50% commanders and instead ensured that anyone simply participating in the goal would gain access to at least one of the much sought after cargo racks. They also added an extra tier to the top of the goal just to ensure that it ran for longer giving everyone the chance to participate if they so desired gaining access to the cargo rack. Following the decision the community goal was further leapt on by commanders who were just delivering a minimal amount toward the goal to ensure they got the cargo rack. This had the added effect of pushing those who had been hauling hard to get just one cargo rack over the weekend higher into the rankings thereby ensuring that their significant efforts early in the CG's run would mean they now will get access to two of the rare cargo racks as well as the paint job. Winner winner corrosive chicken dinner. Will you be participating in the Go West mapping project? Are you now racked with guilt over the fate of your limpets and did you pick up a size 6 corrosive resistant cargo rack in last weeks community goal? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.